Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is ITIL. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you have interest in IT or computer systems. So, uh, friend, let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you. And also, you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library ITIL framework is a set of best practices, procedures, and processes for IT and digital service management. It is a framework used by a huge range of organizations to ensure IT services are fully aligned to an organization's key goals. It's a vital tool in the modern digital workplace and provides a clear structure for achieving digital transformation. Its latest edition was launched in 2019, ensuring the framework provides solutions to the reality of today's IT service industry. Organizations can use its adoptable models and procedures to achieve continuous improvements to end-to-end -end services. The focus is on improving efficiency while delivering quality services. One of its stronger features is a template for a service value stream SVS, a flexible approach to assessing, creating and improving service delivery process. The ITL framework will help an organization to define its IT service align services with customers needs and produce a clear model for ongoing success. It is used to improve core IT service processes and is flexible to each organization's unique requirements. A modular structure means implementation and improvements can be made in stages. There are different levels of IT IL certification for IT and digital professionals to develop their understanding of the framework and uh, today we shall discuss this in detail. So first one is ITL framework. What is the ITL framework? ITL was first created in 1980s by the UK Central Computer and Telecommunication Agency a government agency providing IT support to other departments. It was originally created to standardize the processes for IT support and service management. It consisted of a group of IT service management processes outlined in a library of books. ITIL is now owned by a partnership between the UK Cabinet Office and capita called Exilos. Over the year, ITL framework has been streamlined and adopted to reflect a rapidly changing digital landscape. It has evolved alongside changes in technology and IT services and is currently in its fourth iteration. ITIL 4 provides the tools needed by organizations faced by rapidly changing and varied digital technology. Today, the ITL framework is one of the most popular IT service framework in the world. It is recognized internationally for setting the standard for IT service delivery. The ITL framework is aligned with international quality system standards such as ISO 2000 standards because of its wide separate adoption, ITIL definitions and concepts act as a common language between IT service providers. Organizations can use ITIL framework to assess and improve their end-to-end -end delivery of digital services and products. It encourages a holistic approach to improving processes across the entire organization. These procedures can support digital change, introduce new ways of working and streamline current IT service 
processes. An overview of ITIL 4 framework. ITIL 4 was launched in 2019 and is the latest version of the ITIL framework and has built on the success of the previous version. ITIL 3 had streamlined IT service management processes and was aligned with International Service Management Standard ISO 2000. ITIL 4 has renewed focus on customer experience and digital transformation. It engages with the reality and modern day IT governance such as cloud based services or machine learning. Digital technology is rapidly changing and ITIL 4 provides the tools and insight to react and mitigate risk. The ITIL framework helps organization create an environment of efficiency and quality, delivering IT services at speed. It is a vehicle for change and organization can also use it to understand and implement new ways of working like DevOps lean and agile. ITIL 4 ensures IT services are aligned with wider business aims through the principle of a service value stream. The system highlighted in ITIL 4 is called the service value change chain. It gives organizations an operating model to deliver and improve an effective IT service. The service value chain is a flexible model for planning the journey between customer demand and delivery of service. This system is key to good IT governance as it de uh, develops a resilient organization that is responsive to change. ITIL 4 consists of 34 different practices focusing on refining technical management service management and general management, organizations gain processes and functions for all areas of service delivery including risk management, workforce development and asset development. The four dimensions of ITIL 4. ITIL 4 introduces four dimensions to be considered when delivering a service or product. This ensures that the full organization is taken into account, avoiding inefficient processes. It encourages organizations to map the four dimensions whenever they are designing a service or product, providing a framework for strategic level planning. The four dimensions replace the four P's found in the provided version ITIL product people, partner and process. The four dimensions of ITL 4 are organizations and people. This dimension focus on the structure and governance of the organization and the people involved in every aspect of the service. This includes suppliers, customers, employees and managers. Organizations should consider how teams are connected, the level of training and the type of organizational culture. Information and technology. This dimension denotes the tools, technology and information needed to support both product delivery and IT governance and management. Considerations may include the capabilities and capacity of the support service and the technology required for the service. Partners and suppliers. This element centers around the external suppliers and partners that help organizations deliver product and services. The comparisons of in-house versus outsource capabilities is a key part of this dimension. Organizations should consider and compare the cost of outsourcing as well as reliability, performance and capacity. Value streams and process. This dimension is all about how services and products are delivered, 
ITIL 4 introduces the concept of a service value chain, the operating model to deliver services or products. The service value chain will be explored in more detail later in the article and uh, in the video, but can be used for an incident response as well as product development. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.